Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have new equipment. I bought a camera and I already had the tripod and I hope that the quality steps up with the money I spent for it. But anyways, so today um, I'm going to show you a lot of things that I bought because my boyfriend and I, we recently traveled to Hong Kong and Japan. So, yeah, I have spent some time in some fabric shops and bought quite a lot of things. We did not film too much in the stores because um, I asked whether it was allowed to film or not in a lot of the stores, but I still felt a little bit uncomfortable and there were a lot of people, so you will not see that much footage in the store because of that. I don't want to invade anyone's privacy, but um, there's some footage of every store and I'm going to insert it while I'm talking to you about all the goods. And um, yeah, we started in Hong Kong, then we went to Fukuoka, then to Osaka, then Mount Koya, Nara, Kyoto and Tokyo. And yeah, as I said, uh, we went to several shops, not too many, I <laughs> more or less limited myself, or Michelle did, <laughs> to one shop per city. And uh, yeah, because we wanted to spend our time sightseeing and walking around the cities as well. So that's what we're doing. And uh, now, without further ado, let's start with Hong Kong. That was kind of funny because we couldn't find the fabric stalls that we were originally looking for. Um, we went to a couple of streets that have like a street market i don't remember the name i'm going to insert it somewhere here and they were supposed to have some fabric stalls that you could buy fabric for quite a good price but we couldn't find them <laughs> but we did find a couple of store that were selling beads and trims and for a very good price so these shops were just amazing. There were beads and pearls and trims and glitter and everything. So much stuff in such a small place. It was really amazing to just walk through these shelves filled with so much stuff that I have never seen before and I loved it. It was really cool. So I'm going to insert close-ups of everything that I'm showing you. Um, the first thing that I bought are three yards of this beautiful gold trim on black lace. No, wait, I totally got it wrong. <laughs> What's this called? Mesh? Sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> gold embroidery on black mesh and that was all they had left, so it's about three yards, but I'll see. I think this might be beautiful on something Edwardian. Then the next thing I bought was another trim, and it's this one, and I got three yards of that one as well. And uh, I really love the color. I think I'm going to use this with the fabrics that I bought for my 17th century ball gown because it matches the colors really well. The thing is, the pattern goes that way and eh, I don't know. I have to figure out how I can work with it. Maybe I can also cut out some of these ornaments and put them on the sleeves, but I'll see what I'm going to do with that. And then to go with my idea for the like Edwardian evening gown and the gold lace on the mesh, I also bought some beads. Um, let me see. Yeah, those are all of them. So I have bought some beads. Uh, no, it's not focusing. Well, <laughs> so I'm just holding them up 
and uh, insert some close-ups later so you can see what kind of beads I bought. These are really nice and they were so inexpensive. They were 15 uh, Hong Kong dollars per sachet and um, I think in total for all of this I paid about 60 to 70 US dollars which is really not much. I was surprised <laughs> but they are all really cool. They are from two different stores and I'm going to link one of them because they gave, they gave me a business card, the one that sold me the trims, but I have no idea, no, no idea what the other one was called. Uh, but yeah, so that's Hong Kong. Uh, the next city, well, no. <laughs> From Hong Kong, we flew over to Japan, starting in Fukuoka, where we had no time to visit any fabric stores, so I have no fabric. Uh, then we went to Osaka, where we also had no time to visit any fabric stores, because we were visiting Himeji Castle. And we also spent a day in Kyoto, because we thought that we might have not enough time when we visit Kyoto, actually. so we. Did another day since we we did not have that money to do in Osaka, but then um, we went to Mount Koya. No fabric there as well. That was a mountain where we stayed in a temple in, which was a very nice experience. And then we came to Nara. We visited the city several days and apart from all the deer that were very cute we found some nice streets at Kintetsu station um, there's like a arcade that you can walk through and there are beautiful streets with little little boutiques behind and that was really cool so I found two fabric stores there one of them was Oh, it was a total chaos, but the lady was so sweet and the fabric store itself was also kind of cute and I found this! Gorgeous! Right? I love it. I bought 7 meters and um, I hope I can make something from the 18th century with it. I totally forgot to tell you how this store is called. It's called Zenizo and I'm going to link everything down below. If I can find a website, she has a great website <laughs> that is totally in order, a complete, di completely different from the chaos in the store, but I loved it so much. The entrance was like two nets um, over each other and <laughs> you had to like, get through those nets and there were bells all around and it was it was really fun and she also allowed us to film and there was no one so here you go with some footage the second store we we left the second store we visited in Nara was Ito Temori and we saw it when we returned from our walk the first day but it was already late and we had to go back to the hotel so uh, we visited it the other day in the morning and uh, that one was very nice but I didn't film any f any footage inside so I just have my iPhone picture where you see the outside. They had a lot of beautiful Japanese cottons in the front and in the back they had <laughs> a whole wall of brocade and I went crazy. There was also a second floor with knitting supplies and things like that where I found a book for my sister that teaches you how to make Pong Pong Pokemon which I found very cute and I hope she will make some. I would love to get Pikachu, well, obviously. And I would like to tell you what other Pokemon that I'd like to get but I only know the German names because when I played it I was small and I didn't play it in English. So, anyways, I bought a lot of brocade. So she showed me all the brocades and I somehow had to narrow it down to two because I didn't want to, like, buy all the brocade. Which I regret. After saying it. Because every everything that she showed me was so beautiful. But 
I managed to narrow it down to two. And the first one is uh, this one, which has a very unique color and I love the pattern on this one. And I think I got... Yeah, I got everything that was left from that one. It's about two meters and 20 centimeters. And I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I wanted it and it's going to stay in my stash. <laughs> and the second one I bought, I bought three meters off and it's this one. <laughs> I, I I think this is going to be something renaissance-y. So they usually don't buy that much brocade because it's used for obi and you don't need a lot of fabric but I, uh, I went ahead because I'm gonna use a lot of it for my costumes. So yeah, Ito Temori, Fantastic Brocades. I really love the store. The lady was also so nice. She, she was so cute and so patient while I was sifting through all of the brocades and wasting a lot of time. Also my boyfriend. But after Nara we limited the fabric store time to one hour. Which is sad. <laughs> so limit to one shop in Kyoto and we went with Nomura Taylor, which was close to Torimachi Street, I think it's called. Um, we had our hotel within this, those streets. There are a lot of streets crossing each other where you can buy several things. Also the arcades, which was very nice because the first day we stayed in Kyoto, it was raining cats and dogs. We were totally wet when we reached the hotel because we decided to go um with the metro 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 <laughs> instead of calling a taxi and we did not know the city yet and we went out at the wrong we left at the wrong station and we had to walk quite a lot and it was raining and we were wet but anyways in the evening we went fabric shopping which uh yeah the store was so cool they had uh, like cottons on the first floor wools and silks on the second floor beads and trims and books and patterns on the third one or I think were there four? I'm not sure. I'm going to <laughs> write all the information down in the description box anyways. Also I'm gonna correct myself if I got any of the prices wrong or if I bought more or less of the fabrics and I'm gonna link the websites. <laughs> so yes I I wanted to buy silk but it's it's just it's still expensive even though it was less expensive than it would be in Switzerland it was still too expensive for me so I decided to go with something special instead and I bought some Japanese cotton which I love this store I'm going to insert a, a clip where I walk through the cotton section and it's it's it was fantastic so um I spent about an hour in this store and I had to live it down as well and I thought I'd take like two things that I already have a project in mind and a third one and um, yeah so let's start with this beautiful fabric it's a very lightweight cotton with uh, cranes and flowers that I don't know what they are because I'm bad with flowers <laughs> But I love the color combination of this fabric a lot. I still do, and I have. Um, I I do want to make a 1890s tea gown that is inspired or that has like the Japanese influences, a Japanese dress, and I thought that would be perfect for it, and that's why I bought it. Then the next fabric, I'm. <laughs> I love this one. It's so crazy. So. Lucky Cats. This is great. I love this fabric. 
there are those white and black lucky cats and a lot of other things and in between you have those cute little black kitties that remind me of Mr. Spinalzo and it's so busy but so cute and I bought I think three meters of this because I want to make like a 50s inspired winter dress out of this and um, I love it. <laughs> I was so in love with that one. So yeah, that was the one that I had no purpose for, but but nevertheless because I loved it and now I already have one. Uh, the last one I did not turn to the right side because I did that with the crane fabric and I have five meters of it by the way and um, I had difficulties to fold it together again. So I'm going to show you that one like this. This is very beautiful. I love this. And I bought also 5 meters of this. And I wanted to buy a yukata, but in the end I decided, well, I could also buy beautiful fabric and make it myself. So that one is meant to become a yukata. And that's it for Nara. Ah, uh, no, Kyoto. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not choose the best day to film this. I should have chosen a day where I have my brain together. But, well, it's one of the only days that I am free and not working. So, sorry about that. So, the last city that we stayed in was Tokyo, obviously, <laughs> and um, we did visit Okadaya in Jinjuku, which was such a cool fabric store, and um, I didn't want to buy anything because I had already spent that much money that I did not even this close to you. <laughs> well, price is down in the description box because I couldn't, I have no list here, so bleh. Anyways, you will find everything in the description box. Or if you want to read a bit more, you can, you could also go to my blog and all the information and all the links are there as well. So we went to Tokyo, to Okadaya, and I didn't want to buy anything, which didn't happen, obviously. Uh, yeah, I found another nice cotton, but this time it doesn't have a pattern. It's just this plain brownish, grey, cream, I don't even know how to describe the color, but it matches uh, the crane one perfectly, and this is meant to be the under thingy of my Chopinesque tea gown. So yeah, that's everything that I bought. Um, I would have loved to buy more, but maybe it's better that I spent my budget on something else as well and now I have to sew all of this up so I hope you will soon see some sewing videos I'm very sorry that this isn't a sewing video as well I just I'm not happy with what I did in the last weeks and there is also another project that I am happy with that I do that I'm not going to share on video because it was a present and yeah that's why that's it for my fabric haul that's everything I bought all the details listed down below a lot of things I will also correct or put somewhere here because I have no decorations so far and uh, yeah thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for spending your time with me and I will read you in the comments or maybe see you next time. Thanks a lot for subscribing to all of you. I am blown away. We are 400. It's 100 people more than the last time I've spoken to you on camera and I'm really blown away. It's, it's really cool and I hope I can <laughs> do better content in the future than a fabrical. But I have to sew these beauties up first and uh, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. If you like, you can subscribe or leave a comment or do neither. I'm happy you just watched the video until here, so thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye! Why are out?
trust so hard. Okay, let's start again.